Hello and welcome back to Iraqi Dinar Today. I hope you all are doing well. I am your host, Ali, bringing you the latest updates on the Iraqi Dinar. As always, don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and family to help support the channel. Now, let's dive into today's update say it's packed with exciting news. Our friend Frank26 shares a report straight from Iraq. Alak, the central bank of Iraq governor, is on TV, sharing a lot of information about the reform process. He's been giving speeches every day, explaining how much money is currently in the digital system. It's growing rapidly, and he says that by the end of this year, they'll implement the initial plan to complete the banking system reforms. This digital transformation is crucial it's not just about making banking easier within Iraq, but also about gaining international recognition. This is truly exciting. Militiaman, electronic payments show financial inclusion Militiaman echoes this excitement, pointing out that we're now witnessing the reality of financial inclusion in Iraq. Electronic payments are spreading throughout the country and it definitely feels like it's showtime. They are working on developing a strong financial culture nationwide, which is crucial for Iraq's growth. Samson brings us a fascinating update as the number of electronic payment points in Iraq has surged from 7,000 to 30,000. This rapid expansion shows the progress of Iraq's banking and monetary reforms. Mark adds to the anticipation by sharing that rates on bank screens are changing and fluctuating. This could mean that the banks are priming the system for something big. His banking contacts report seeing various rates rolling out, which could be a sign that the system is being tested and prepared for the next steps. Mountain Goat recently shared an article stating that Iraq has the highest reserves in its monetary and financial history. Despite the global economy's challenges, Iraq is showing growth indicators in its non-oil GDP, touching around 6%. This is one of those wow moments that speaks volumes about Iraq's financial strength and potential. Wolverine tells us that the new rates on the bank screens right now are not the final rates. Instead, they're being used for investment purposes. So. If you're watching those rates, remember that the real ones might still be on their way. Fu shares his skepticism about the ongoing education program and the government's efforts to adjust the parallel market. He suggests that these might be stalling tactics, while leaving us with a burning question, what's the real plan behind these moves? Marks answers a question from a viewer about whether the new lower denominations have already been printed in Iraq. He confidently says, yes, there have been contracts, paid receipts, and even sightings of the lower denomination samples in banks. Lastly, Militiaman confidently states his belief that the Iraqi dinar is going to change in value. And it's not just him the citizens of Iraq believe it too. He points out that Prime Minister Sudani has even mentioned that the dinar will be stronger than the dollar on more than one occasion. It's a powerful statement that has everyone buzzing with excitement. So, that's today's roundup. We're seeing some powerful signs and positive movements, and it feels like we're on the verge of some significant changes. What do you think about all these developments? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates on global developments and the future of the Iraqi dinar. Until next time, take care and stay hopeful.